Race of the Week takes us to Santa Anita and the Grade 1 Gold Cup at Santa Anita, formerly the Hollywood Gold Cup, which was run many years at Hollywood Park. Two key things to remember for this race. It is one of the classic distance races for older horses in the United States. It's 10 furlongs. There's only six or seven of these for older horses throughout the year. And it does have grade one status and a $500,000 purse. So those are always the questions to keep in mind because grade one races are the top echelon and 10 furlongs, there's only a select few that can get that distance. From the rail, Batty Man, a seven-year-old, a four for 32 lifetime. You know, this is asking a lot for this guy. He's a solid grade three type horse, uh, can pick up a win every now and then when he's kind of uh, faces less pace pressure. He goes up in class, he's going stretching out in distance, and he's facing proven speed, especially at the grade one class level. Going to be hard to make a case for him on the win end, but he is a nice classy horse and he does uh, figure in the race and part of the pace pressure for a while. Hard aces is, could go a couple of ways. Uh, I think some people are going to like his close in the last race, although the race before he kind of faded back on a tricky Oaklawn surface. Overall, his last big win at the fairgrounds was a five-horse field, so that worries me a little bit. Has never faced grade one horses, and I'm not really sure what his running style is. He's ran races close to the pace. He's ran races way from behind. Uh, maybe he can find, like, Goldilocks, kind of that middle middle ground and lay six or seven lengths off the pace. He's definitely usable. Uh, won't be on top on my selections, but I, I think some people could make a case for hard aces. Then we go to Proshki. Uh, this guy has added, you know, he's been running miles, six and a half on the turf. He's one of four horses entered by Peter Miller. I'm not even sure he's going to run in this race. He'll probably scratch. He does bring some speed and pace to the party, but ultimately I think he's just out class. Uh, only $167,000 in earnings and just going 10 furlongs is going to be a tough ask. Motown Man has done his best running on the front end. Six wins, 29 starts, six seconds, and five thirds. Won 380,000. He's faced catch a flight twice. Uh, lost to him both times. Picked up a win in his last race, so he's kind of in the hunt at that grade two, grade three level. He is a six year old. Santa Anita's record is solid, seven for nine in the money. And figures to get a good trip, gets Tyler Bays on him. I think you can make a case for him in the top four or five, but as a win contender, he won't be on my tickets. Majestic City enters in good form. Now, the last race, keep in mind, it was a grade three, and it was only a five-horse field, and it was sloppy. So I'm not really sure where he fits overall. His best races in the past have been seven furlongs to a mile, although he did run in a grade one race as a two-year-old uh, that was four years ago. He's now six years old, uh, but does seem to have some good form, And but he's going up in class off that easy win in the last time in the slop. Opportunity is one that I've been waiting for to go 10 furlongs all spring and summer. His last time at 10 furlongs, he faced shared belief in the San Antonio. That was actually at nine furlongs, and then he won the grade one Clark. So he is a grade one winner. He's faced shared belief. He's faced California Chrome last year. Lifetime record, four wins and 10 starts. Second off the layoff and does have some good workouts. And he faced a really speed bias track the last time. So I'm going to forgive him that day for not closing. I think he has a big shot in here. Opportunity stretching out and one of the few grade one winners on paper. Big Casanova, the big lover. He has shown time and again in his last few races that he just can't get the 10 furlongs. His best races have been at 9 furlongs as the lone speed. He can gut it out at 8 furlongs or 8.5 if he gets a little bit of pressure. But with Marino in this race, he's not going to get an easy pace. He's going to have to face other pressure from horses inside of him. And he's going to have to keep an eye on Moreno. I just don't think he can get 10 furlongs, especially running from the engine. Now, Moreno enters as the class leader in the field. He's won some grade one races in the past. He beat shared belief in the Charlestown Classic. Last race out, he lost to catch a flight. Lots of dollars in the bank account, approaching $3 million. His lifetime win percentage, though, is a little bit low, 4 for 27. So he's a horse you don't want to take too low of a price on. But stretching out to 10 furlongs may actually help this horse. He may get a little bit softer pace than he did the last time in the Californian. Catch a flight, most likely favored. Perfect trip, great ride the last race in the Californian. Beat Moreno, really got an aggressive ride. 
got close to the pace and then just kind of outran his competition. The half-length victory was kind of deceiving as he really controlled him down the lane. Could have won by a little bit more. Not sure if he can go 10 furlongs, and this will be his first grade one race in America, but he is a win machine. Nine wins and 15 starts. Ladaris is your classy closer. Lots of graded races on his resume. Seldom wins, hasn't won in America, and this five-year-old horse keeps on plugging away. He could get third or fourth, so definitely usable in that. Smoking Joe Talamo rides. Just think he's going to get too far out of it again to really have a chance to win, but it will be interesting to see how many horses he can pick up the pieces on. Finnegan's Wake, this horse is trying turf back to dirt. He has run five lifetime races on the dirt. He's in great form this year and good class level, been running in grade ones and grade twos. Worth a try, running on a big day with Mike Smith on him. Big race Mike takes the irons, and I think he's going to have a good shot here. He's actually my second selection right behind Opportunity. Definitely one to use, and with all of the speed signed on, he really doesn't need to be that far back. He can maybe be five, six lengths back. He's more of a grinder, though, so he's not going to get you with a quick turn of foot. He's going to have to out-sprint, catch a flight, and maybe Opportunity, and also Marino. So he's got his work cut out for him, but I think at six or seven to one odds, he uh, may be worth a shot. That's a look at the field for the grade one 2015 Gold Cup at Santa Anita, formerly the Hollywood Gold Cup. Look for previews of other stakes races at the website derbyologist.com. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to catch all of the latest videos right here as we handicap the race of the week as we lead into the 2015 Breeders' Cup. That's going to do it for another race of the week right here from Derbyologist.